that's number one for clicking on this video. I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy it. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Memphis J. I'm a musician from Tennessee, but I also enjoy making and editing videos from time to time. So this video is one I wanted to do for a while. Um, just a kind of everyday, every man's look at bottled water and what may be in your bottled water. Not necessarily what is, but the amount of trace substances, total dissolved solids. We'll get into more of that shortly. But before we get started with the video, I have two quick things I want to say. Number one, no part of this video or any of the brands mentioned should be considered me promoting any of these brands or advertising. I'm not paid by any water brands. I'm doing this purely out of curiosity. Number two, this should not be considered a scientific test necessarily. This isn't a laboratory. I'm not a scientist. And uh, like I said, doing this just for curiosity. So we'll get to what we have here. I have a computer here for recording my data. I've got nine bottles of water. I've got one clean glass. It's paper towels for uh, cleaning it off. And I've got a brand new TDS meter. If you don't know about that, that stands for Total Dissolved Solids, and it's a brand new TDS tester. I, uh, as you can see, I'm unwrapping it now. Uh, to the side. What these do is allow you to get a rough idea of the amounts of total dissolved solids in parts per million in your water. So I got this as a brand new TDS tester when I purchased zero water filter here. So in order to establish a baseline for it, I'll start this, turn it on. Yep, it's working. Take my clean glass and just to give you an idea, I'm going to go over here, fill up some water straight out of the tap. So tap water. Let's see how scary this is. I'm reading two 221 parts per million are in the tap water. I'm going to keep it there. Wipe this off here. Get this back. Let me get rid of this. Got some plants. I'll be watering as we do the test. Just to uh, make sure it's clean. Wipe it back out here. And give you another idea that the water meter is working. Some water straight from zero water pitcher. Now, this water came directly from that tap after being filtered with a zero water filter. I am reading zero, zero, zero. And just to show you, I'll try to get close enough that you can see zero, zero, zero. So, Finished with the first part, we can say that the zero water filter brings it down to zero. And it also establishes that this is working. So, water plants one more time. Down. And so, I'm recording my first finding here, Mercurysboro tap water. Was it 220 parts per million? Keep it moving. Here. Now I'm not going to show you the TDS filter every time, so you're going to have to take my word for it, but fresh on a bottle of Niagara water here. Pour it in. Give it a test for reading zero. This is reading zero, zero, one. So far Niagara. We will say one. I'm keeping it moving here. Bring this out. Get a little towel. Make sure there's nothing left over from the first one. We'll move on to bottle number two, the sun. Sunny water. Let's see 
how this compares. This is reading 22 parts per million. 0, 22, up, up to 23. All right, we're going to go with 23. So, for the Dasani, 23. All right. Walk the plants one more time. Zephyr Hills. This is 100% natural spring water, they say. You got that here. This is reading 000. zero, zero. Drop it in. 156. 157. Pull it out. One more time. 157. So 157 parts per million for the Zephyr Hills. One more time, clean this out. Put this back to zero. Go with bottle four. Fiji. From the islands of Fiji, natural artesian water. Fiji. Got zero reading on the meter. This is reading at 139. One time, 139. My video camera in HD mode will only do eight minutes, so I cut off right after I finish the Fiji water. And though I have popped these bottles, I assure you they were brand new and unpopped before I started this test. So for my fifth bottle, I'm going to use the Circle K Favorites. It's generic purified water here. One in here. A meter back on it's at zero, zero, zero. And we are measuring one part per million. Now I've already gone through these last five already, so I've already put that in, but I'll make sure it brings up the same one, one part per million. One plant here. That's right, if you see me throwing water over here, I'm looking into plants and not wasting it there. Bar, our sixth bottle, we have a smart water. A shoe. I don't know how you say that. Smart water. Let's see how it stacks up. Zero, zero, zero. Comes up at 24 parts per million. One more shot. 24 parts per million total dissolved solids. It's the same reading I got before. Smart one. Move on to our seventh. This is Aquafina. It says pure water, perfect taste, purified drinking water. Let's see how this measures up. We're reading zero, zero, zero. I'm getting one part per million. Try it again. One part per million. Is that the same I got here? Aquafina, one part per million. Yep. Next to last, we have Publix Spring Water. Publix Spring Water. Let's see how that shows. Zero, zero, zero on the meter. 